We got a video showing. We got a video showing the Windsor Hill crash that left six people dead. Here we go. Breaking news in 11, high-speed horror. A Mercedes moving at extreme speed slams into stop traffic. The massive impact creating a deadly fireball, killing six people, including a pregnant woman and an infant. Mm. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live at the crash scene in Windsor Hills with the latest information tonight. Amy. Okay, man. Mark, authorities still working out here at the scene. You can see two of the burned vehicles down the street behind me here. Six lives lost in this accident. And tonight, authorities say the driver of the speeding car that caused this crash is hospitalized with serious injuries. A horrific crash Damn. captured on security video. Seat belts is really important. Fire extinguishers inside the car is really important. And insurance is really important. A speeding Mercedes runs a red light Damn. and plows into several cars. A massive ball of fire and smoke shooting up. Flames engulfing the wreckage, trapping victims inside two of the vehicles. Three adults, including a pregnant woman and a toddler, initially declared dead. Tonight, investigators finding a sixth victim inside one of the burned vehicles. Shocked witnesses say some of the victims were thrown from cars. You've seen a, a young lady that was running into the service station with a child, dangling in her hands yeah yeah she was a houston traveling nurse this is what they're saying then you've seen a child's seat here and then you've seen another little child that was laying in the street shocked and grieving relatives gather near the scene of the crash at the intersection of slawson and la brea the chp says six vehicles were involved in the fiery collision people living and working nearby say it sounded like an explosion it looked like the whoa you say she was fighting with her boyfriend via facetime and she was drunk. I need some proof of that right now. Oh, intersection from you corner to corner was on, that. on fire. A lot of sparks and like electricity. Once the smoke, the fire kind of went away, the electricity and kind of the boom and left. I realized that it was two cars there. You could see the people on fire, and that's just sad, you know. The 40-year-old female driver of the Mercedes was taken to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center with major injuries. Rescuers transporting seven other people, including several children, to hospitals with minor injuries. Look how she did that Mercedes. I can say that the youngest uh, child for the minor, uh, the ones that were character characterized as minor injury uh, was 13 months old and the oldest was, I want to say, 15 years of age and everyone else was uh, ages in between that. Alfonso Ward was driving on Slauson just seconds away from the intersection when he saw the fireball and witnessed the heartbreaking tragedy. Then I seen the pregnant mother that was laying on the side that was pregnant. Then you see the child, the baby. Bystanders trying to put out the flames and reach the victims, hey. but it was too dangerous. See, it hurts. It does because I, I have a grandson. I have, I know people that were kids, and for a mother to be pregnant, that child didn't, that child never had a chance. Say she was trying to break and hit the gas by mistake on purpose. There it is. A lot of people very upset in this community. Authorities haven't yet said what kind of charges the driver may be facing. Reporting live in Windsor Hills. Ain't Reporting live in Windsor Hills. We ain't done. We ain't done. Hold up. Here we go. Cork and Cork, good evening. The community vigil is over, but dozens of people still keep um, stopping by at this memorial. So y'all saying that the best friend said that she was arguing with a piece of meat when she wrecked out. And she was drunk in broad day. That's what's up. Shout out to Logan for the, for the, for the, for the $5 super chat. Say CPD officer Yolanda Talley's niece caught with that work. Say she was driving her aunt's car. No. Shout out to Miss Price for the $2 super chat. Say I was late for my Zoom meeting watching Willie. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. They're dropping off flowers and candles to pay their respects to honor the lives, the six lives that were tragically taken during a collision on Thursday. People, of course, stopping off, dropping off flowers and candles at an intersection that she was trying to commit suicide. Community Maybe. members say has been very dangerous and they want to see change come from this. Now, as you know, six people were killed, including 23 year old Asheray Ryan, her unborn baby, her 11 month old son Alonzo, and her fiance Reynold Lester. That ain't his baby. Oh no, that ain't his baby. 
her unborn baby, her 11 month old son, Alonzo, and her fiance, Reynold Lester. The four were traveling in the same vehicle. Ashray was six months pregnant. She and her family were on the way to a prenatal doctor's appointment at the time of the collision. The Mercedes that hit them. She had an 11 month old and she's pregnant now. Oh, she was pregnant. Y'all playing too much. Was going over 80 miles an hour when the driver ran a red light and slammed into cross traffic at La Brea and Slauson Thursday afternoon. There is a growing memorial at the crash site. Yeah. Community members stopping by to pay their respects, including family of the victims and strangers. Tonight's vigil put on by members of Faith for Safer Streets who are calling on elected officials to do more to keep these tragedies from occurring. What in the hell? Sometimes you just gotta let people talk. What, what could any politician do to prevent something like this from happening? What, what? So explain it to me. They say this awful collision could have been avoided. The family of Reynold Lester finding the courage to speak about their immeasurable loss. My brother Riddle passed away in the fatal home. It's all right. It was a real accident. He was driving his pregnant girlfriend and their family to the prenatal checkup when his car was struck by another driver. We're lost. That's right. We don't know this to us to Yes. We know that that's our little home. We're here for him. He was very well. That's just heartbreaking. They have a GoFundMe now. And as the community gathers to more attention now turning to the driver of that Mercedes, the CHP arrested 37-year-old Nicole Linton. LA County DA George Gascon says prosecutors have already been assigned to the case and Linton could be charged as early as tomorrow, Monday. Now her bail amount actually increased. It was set at $2 million. It has now been raised to $9 million. I, okay, they increased the baby um, bond from two million. You gotta ask yourself. So y'all gonna raise it up to nine million, so in y'all mind, she know somebody with that type of paper? Mm, yeah, yeah. They went from two million, not not like 200,000. The shit was at two million. They raised it up to nine million. Why? I don't know. Say so they got 130. Thousand on the GoFundMe, Uncle Willie. Who? What? Like, like which family? Like which family? Because six, six people died. So I don't know which family got the GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, man. From two million. Monday. Now, her bail amount actually increased. It was set at $2 million. It has now been raised to $9 million. Why don't they just start doing a no bond? It's shit simple, right? Reporting live in Windsor Hills. The sister, I'm the sister of the pregnant girl? Oh, okay, okay. KTLA 5 News. All right, Carl. Say, so, Willie, imagine if it was male, would the speeches be the same energy? Hell, hell, hell no. Hell no. Not at all. Because you know we're going to allow babies to get away with some things out here in here, goddamn screen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shh, we got one more. California Highway Patrol now says a Houston woman is responsible for the fiery crash that killed six, including a baby and a pregnant woman earlier this week. 30 the toxicology done came back now? Seven-year-old Nicole Linton remains in the hospital but has been arrested. Marcelino Benito has the very latest. The video still hard to watch. Investigators say Nicole Linton was driving the Mercedes sedan when she blew right through a red light, colliding into multiple vehicles in a fiery explosion. The flames just went over everybody. Just the flames went over my whole car and they told me to jump out my car. Linton was traveling at least 100 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Investigators still working to determine if she was driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Tonight, we're learning Linton is a traveling nurse from the Houston area, yeah. working in Los Angeles. She survived the horrific crash, but six others did not. 
which I thought that she was drunk when I heard it because typically the drunk people, they tend to live and everybody else tend to die. Including so a pregnant woman, Asheray Ryan, her 11-month-old baby, Alonzo, that and fiancé Reynold Lester. I won't give no damn. This is not his baby, and they're not saying that it's his baby. I'm saying it ain't his baby, in my opinion. A month old baby, Alonzo, and fiancé Reynold Lester. The family was on the way to the doctor for a pregnancy checkup. Eight others injured in the fiery collision, too. Yes, it's, it's the kids. That, that what touched me more than anything is it's the church. It's the children, the ones that didn't get a chance. The mother that probably was happy because she was having a baby, but she's, she's not there. She's gone. The Los Angeles County DA's office released this statement. This incredible tragedy has sent shockwaves throughout Los Angeles, and the loss of so many precious lives will have a lasting impact on those that are closest to them. Our office is in close contact with the lead law enforcement agency investigating. A prosecutor has already been assigned and will be working with law enforcement throughout the weekend. Say her nails are so cute, huh? Once yeah. Linton is released from the hospital and booked into jail, she will likely face vehicular manslaughter charges. Marcelino Benito, KHOU. They ain't gonna do shit. But listen, listen, they might charge her just as far as um, destruction and stuff like that. She hit power poles and stuff, so um, she might have to pay for a little bit of that right there. But even, even when Six dead, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. She better hope that there's that there was some type of malfunction with the car. But if she was drunk, then all that shit there out the door. But I promise you, they will not give her no more than five years. I prom I know. At the well, she will not do more than five years. Because they're gonna try to make an example. They're gonna try to make an example. And I can also believe that even if they took her driving rights away, she will still be able to get her driving rights back. I'm just saying. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 37 year old. Nicole is 37. Was arrested of on suspicion of ve 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 vehicle manslaughter with gross negligence. Um, she was released from the Ronald Reagan Medical Center over the weekend and now being held on a $9 million bond, yada, yada, yada. I want to see the toxicology uh, nurse. Uh, damn, bam, 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 bam. We're not getting anything from it. How the hell is my computer running so damn slow when I'm running so fast? Say toxicology report. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's see. Nurse and then and then from the hospital charges. Uh, uh, uh. Let's click on this real quick and then we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Don't worry about it because we shouldn't just go on to get to the main event and get the hell on up out of here. Um, come on, come on. Damn it. It's holding me up. It's holding me up. So we ain't gonna worry about it again. What can lawmakers do? Nothing. 45 days and an ankle bracelet for two years. Time served. That baby gonna be all right. Maybe going to be all right. But if she were arguing with a player, somebody had said earlier, see what that meat make you do. That's a great point because you not focus on what she should have been doing was driving. Well, yeah, maybe she was focused on driving and drinking. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the cruise control. Maybe the cruise control got stuck. Maybe the gas pedal got stuck. Maybe she was trying to reach out for help, 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 help. Maybe she called her baby daddy on FaceTime to tell him to call somebody and get somebody around here because the car is out of control. Say she do 90 days and a year parole. Hashtag free R. Kelly. Free R. Kelly in he got that This baby getting away with murder. Moving right along.